What's going on, everybody? So, topic of the day. How do you find talent or recruit people when you don't have any money? That's the $1 million question, man. Well, I got an answer for you guys. And, and I can, I, I'm sure any startup out there can, can vouch for that. I can vouch for the last 20 years of my experience. I can't tell you how many times I ran out of money. Uh, I, and, and I've been unable to, you know, you, you don't have money to get talent, but you need talent. You need talent in different areas, in technical, raising capital and all, advisory and all those things. But there's a way that you can do that, you know, uh, get talent. And people are not tapping into that thing. I don't know why. So check it out. Check this vlog, man. Post some comment. Let me know. Subscribe. Take care. Henry Yakarundi, the innovator behind the innovative talk. entrepreneur from Rwanda. Pour plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henry Yakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henry Yakarundi. Welcome everybody. Today's what? Uh, today's Thursday, and I wanted to talk about how do you grab talent, bring advisor, people that are connected. You know, necessarily, you know, they have our, they have influence, they have uh, talents, they they have knowledge in the space you wanna you you wanna be in. How do you bring them on board, and you don't have any money? You know, and you don't have resources to pay them. Uh, so that, that, that's something that a lot of time people, companies, at least start a business, um, are confronted with. You know, you, those are the challenges you have. You know, without talents, without having the, the, the right expertise, team, and all those things, it's very difficult to develop a very strong products, it's very difficult to scale, it's very difficult to break deals with big companies and all, because you need that network, you need that consultation, you need that advisory aspect, you know, raising money, same thing, you know, raising money is all about networking, I talk about it so many times, it's all about networking, I don't care how great your product is, if you don't have the talent and network in your team, it's going to be very difficult for you to get from point A, which is a startup, to point B, C, D, and so on and so forth. But what people don't understand is you don't have money, you don't have resources to pay your, your, the talent or the advisor you want to bring in, but you have equity. You have equity on your company. So when you register, you and your partners, you have 100% equity on your company. Now, you can give away those equity as a form of currency. Yes, it's not a currency you can cash out now. It's not a currency that you can use to buy a car, buy a house, you know, like a public company where it's, it's a currency just like money. You're a private company, but it's a currency in the long term. So you can give some of that equity to the talent. You know, this idea of trying to control as much percentage to your company as possible, I fell into that trap also. It's ludicrous. It's a waste of time. I rather own 20% of my company that is worth 10, 20 million, you know, than 100% of 100,000 dollars or 50,000, right? So you have to look long term. You have to look long term. You have to see the potential, and you give equity. Now you don't give it away just like that, and there's uh, and that's something I do now, um, you know as consult consultations where I can give you more information because there's agreements, but it's called milestone agreement, you know, where you give equity based on a certain task that is achieved by the advisor, by the talent, by whoever you're trying to bring in for a certain task. But you need to know, number one, you need to know what do you need, in what area of your business you need talent on, okay? Then from there, you find the talent. You know, you have to look for that talent, unless you, you, you 
really well connected and you can get that talent like this, you got to look. You got to spend time. I mean, that's how networking comes in. That's how the connection, knowing the right people and all that comes in. So you have to start building your network. Find out, okay, so I'll give you an example. You're looking for somebody. In my case, I was looking for someone that was uh, highly knowledgeable in the hardware embedded system, right? I spent a year and a half researching and talking to people. Now, a lot of the people will tell you, uh, uh, equity, no salary, as an advisor. Yeah, if you tell them, listen, you don't have to work for me full time. You have your job, right? You're working uh, at your job. That's fine. But imagine you have your salary job and then on the side, you're getting equity to do uh, uh, be part of this business with this much potential. Of course, you have to be good at selling. You have to sell your vision. You have to sell your company. You know, they're not just going to jump on it just because. They have to see the potential. They have to see the opportunity. And they have to believe that at some point they can exit out uh, to that equity and cash out. But the fact that they can keep their job and they're getting extra because nobody become financially successful working at a job, that's an extra potential revenue for them in the long run. Boom. And then a lot of time people don't see that. Oh, I ain't got time. Oh, I don't like your product. Oh, I'm, I don't see the vision. Uh, it's long term. I'm not interested in that. Fine, no problem. Who cares? You keep looking, talking, talking, talking. Finally, I came across a very good friend of mine who, uh, you know, we in contact from time to time, but I, 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 I forgot about that he had experience in the field I was in. And we had a conversation. We had a talk, boom, 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 we're negotiating. Uh, the milestone agreement and all we signed. And now he handles all the hardware embedded system development for Aaron. Boom. Before I was doing it, and it was a huge mistake. Because there's certain things you're not good at, then don't do it. Find somebody who can. If you don't have the money, bring them on board as equity. Tell them they can keep their job. And that's very important, guys, to understand. You have your equity. You have to al allocate a certain percentage of your equity for that kind of advisory, talents, and all. So you have to map out your, your, your value chain, your business ecosystem. Boom, 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 boom. If you buy yourself, then you have to know where you're good at, and then you can bring talent through equity on the other ones, right? And then from there, and because it's milestone, if they don't achieve, they don't do that, so fine, you terminate it. You look for somebody else. It's just like anything else. It's a contract. It's an agreement, you know, between you and that individual. You know, it's straightforward. And I want to end up with this because that's a message for other people out there that are talented, that are looking for jobs, not seeing that they can use their talent for more than a job. You can have a job, you know. Your best chance to become successful as an individual is through business. Right. I've never heard anybody legally became financially set working at a job. So if you have skill sets and all, you already have a job. Open your mind to work for equity for other companies. And you don't have to work for one or two companies. You can work for several. Depending, of course, you have to manage your time, depending on what they need and all. And usually, just to let you know, guys, uh, just an addition, um, you shouldn't give more than 5% for this advisory talent role. Unless it's a key component to your business, then you can go up to 10%. Because it's a key ingredient and, 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 and that, um, that component can make or break your business, then you can go much higher. But even when you go higher, you have to make sure you break it down into milestone equity structure not just give 10 percent for the sake of 10 percent so this is it guys you you got a startup and you're trying to put a team together use your equity use it smartly um I, i'm doing advisor because I, I was doing i was giving advice for free for a lot of companies spending two three hours but now i decided now oh, man you know I, I barely got time to do all those things but if you need more information i do advisory you know maximum uh, a week and we can discuss on the price. I'm not trying to squeeze any money out of you guys' startup. I trust, trust me when I tell you I know that you know how, how tough it is. But if you need some advisory, if you need some challenge, if you have some challenge, 
and you need help on to structure and all those things hey hit me up contacts is below take care and good luck